Hello everyone, welcome to Binis Vlog. Oh, I shouldn't do it. Hello everyone, I'm Elvini Tracy and welcome to Binis Vlog. I still didn't get used to my intro because I used to say Hello everyone, welcome to Binis Vlog but because of my name on my YouTube channel is not Benis vlog, so maybe people get so confused. So that's why I need to introduce my name. Like, hello everyone, it's Elvini Tracy, and welcome to Benis vlog. So yeah, I I still didn't get used to that. So right now, I am currently, finally, thanks God, I arrive here in Bitangor, IBJ Campus Rajang, and you guys watch my previous vlog that was my journey to IPG Campus Rajang and thanks god everything uh, was very well and we arrived here safely and yeah so today is my second day being quarantined and for information we follow the rules after getting into Sarawak because the rules here was that everyone who get into Sarawak from another state they need to get quarantined like this we, need, we have to do this and this one we need to report our location from like every uh, daily location daily at daily location at 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. so that uh, it, it's to make sure that we didn't like mm, change our location anywhere it's like we stay at, at one location yeah in this vlog, I'm going to answer some of the questions that I did in my previous Q&A where I asked people to give me questions for my Q&A part 2. Okay, so let's start! <laughs> right, the first question. How many languages you can speak? I can speak 5 different languages, which is English. <laughs> I'm speaking it right now. Uh, Malay, of course, because we are Malaysian. Chinese. Um, I actually studied at SJKC, uh, no, kindergarten. I studied Chinese since kindergarten, kindergarten to secondary school, but I stopped taking Chinese class when I was 16 years old. And I am very regret. That was my big regret because I think I should continue learning my Chinese because it is something good. Learning language is good. Like it big. It's a big advantage for you and. It is a big regret for me for not continuing to take Chinese. Yeah. The next question, kenapa awong gunting rambut? So, for information, I cut my hair. I don't know. I maybe around June. I think it is June. Yeah, I cut my hair around June, and then I know. I think it's July. Yeah, and then the reason why I cut it because I actually curled my hair before. If you guys know me, you know I curled my hair. And then it turned out very worse. Like my hair was rosak, rosak semua rambut hujung saya. Dia kering, sangat kering. So I wanted to get a new hair, like this hair. I want this hair yang dari sini punya rambut. Jadi saya potong bawa dia saja. Actually, it is getting longer. Sebab rambut saya rosak, tulah saya gunting rambut. It is getting longer right now. I cut my hair. This one should be here when I cut it here around my jawline but then right now it is about to reach my my shoulder so it is getting longer I took I didn't took a very long time to grow my hair because I don't know why but my hair grow very fast like faster than other people yeah so the reason why I cut my hair was that I want to <laughs> I, I need to repair my hair. I want a very new natural hair. <laughs> okay, the third question. Bagi satu kata-kata semangat yang kau pegang sampai hari ini. Um, there was a quote, like my own. I, I created by my own. Um, I hold on this until right now. Like, in order to, uh, in order to be the greatest, you gotta you gotta face the greatest pain the greatest pain <laughs> that was a very like a big principle inside a belief that I have on myself I'm that kind of 
old fashioned kind of person who hold on to who hold on to like principles or beliefs so i believe that if you wanted to be a greatest you need to face the greatest pain in order to be a, the greatest yeah that's it and i have another one um this one i always told my friends whenever they are being hesitate to do something or decide something it's like they are scared about what gonna happen whenever i say something whenever i heard them being like he having hesitation i always talk to them i always told them that we never know what the future holds so I always told everyone about that and I always told that to myself too. It's like, it's okay, we never know. We never know. We No one ever know what the future holds. So we never know. Just do it. So these two was, was lapula. These two are the words, the kata-kata semangat that I hold on until this moment, which is the first one. Uh, you gotta face the greatest pain in order to be the greatest. And the second one is you never know. So the the next question, makanan kegemaran. Of course, I love pork, babi, sasau, do. <laughs> it's the it's the same thing. I love pork. I love pork very much, and I love chicken. Of course, who doesn't love chicken? If you don't love chicken, we can't be friends. <laughs> I love chicken very much. I love chocolate. But if I need to choose one thing, I'm probably gonna choose. Oh my god, I can't choose between chicken and pork. Who the hell can choose? It's like you're gonna choose your mother and your father. <laughs> I can't choose. So I'm gonna pick pork and chicken as my favorite food. So yeah, let's move on to the next question. How old are you? Okay, Hafida Yaakov, you really ask a very ridiculous question here. <laughs> but since you're my friend, so I'm gonna answer this. Um, <laughs> I am 19 years old, everyone. <clears throat> I know I look old or young or old, older than you ex expected or younger than you expected. I don't know, but I'm 19. Not a question, but damn, your accent. <laughs> Okay, thank you everybody. Everybody was like, was like they, they were telling me, I like your accent, I like your accent. Thank you so much. I had been working on it very hard. It just, I love to watch British shows, the movies, yeah. And I love the way they talk, so I learned a bit about it. Even if I'm not very like a British person, but I'm kind of. <laughs> the next question. Um, Boleh sudah nih buat YouTube channel. Memang saya ada YouTube channel. <laughs> oh my God, people. <laughs> okay, memang saya ada YouTube channel. So people, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. Please subscribe. Please, please, just subscribe. It meant the world for me. So well, that was a few questions that I chosen. So I really hope that I answer it very well. So that, yeah. So I promise everyone that I'm going gonna do a live update with my Q&A question. So right now I currently studying here in Sarawak already, and it felt I don't know. I have a lot of mixed feelings being here because I am away from my parents, my family. It's kind of like I don't know. I I I couldn't expect my own feelings. It's like I'm a bit excited. I'm a bit nervous i'm a bit you know that kind of mixed feelings you have but yeah i'm 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 happy i'm glad that i survive here i mean not like survive the whole year i mean surviving to reach here because it had been a lot of cancellation for our flight and it was a big it had been a lot of adversity to reach where we are right now yeah that is my life update you know, for information, we have around like three times of flight cancellations, and I know two times of flight cancellation, and thanks God, the third time it was never cancelled, and we managed to reach here and arrive safely here in Sarawak. And yeah, thanks God, a lot of things happened in the past few months for my preparation to be here, but most importantly, I finished it all. I managed to do everything and reach here safely so yeah it is this is my first time doing a big preparation like this before going somewhere and 
yeah, I, I, I was a bit stressed out in the first stage, but I was getting to be like adapted to the situation and the environment of like doing those preparations. So yeah, I'm, I feel, you know, I, I feel so grateful that I <laughs> like being patient with this, with everything that happened. But yeah, I w yeah, that is what I'm going to talk about. Anyway, this is my first ever vlog that I recorded here in Sarawak, in Bintang or in IPJ Campus Rajang and yes, I look forward for more content on my... I, I also look expecting myself to do a lot of content like you guys expecting me to do <laughs> and thank you so much for those people who responded to the, my Q&A and I would like to say thank you, thank you, thank you <laughs> for asking me a question and yeah I really hope everyone enjoyed this video and see you guys in the next video